Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I want to talk about how to create the image we see here on the screen um, in ARCHICAD. So to give a quick overview of what we're looking at is it's um, a composite of actually two renderings I did in ARCHICAD and then I brought over to um, GIMP, which is a open source free version competitor to Photoshop. You could do what we're going to show you in you know, probably either of those programs or a number of other um, image editing software. Um, basically, what I love about this image is it is, well, first of all, fast, but it also just gives a little more softness um, and I think just life to um, some what would have otherwise been a little duller images. So I found over the past couple months as I share images with clients that I'm showing them images like this and they just they pop and work much better. So let's go over to ARCHICAD and see what I'm doing here. Okay, so here's that essentially that same view in the 3D window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, two um, photo renderings. First, I'm going to use the sketch rendering. And I've set up these parameters. I'm going to kind of keep them up slowly on the screen. So if you want to go back and copy them, you can. That's the Koi Noir with the 11 tech pencil and kind of set things to black and I haven't done too much um, of fuzziness or uh, kind of jitteriness you can create with the images. Um, the sky color actually should be white not um, blue. And so once these are all set up the other thing we want to look at is the size. This is where things get important, is we want to make sure the size of both images we use are going to be identical. So here it's 1500 by 1272 pixels. That looks good. Hit OK. Um, then up here we're going to hit the photo render projection. And I'm actually going to stop this because you don't need to watch me render something. But imagine we just rendered a sketch render, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, it would look like um, that in the end. So, do that select. so that's the image we just created with those settings. Now if we go back to ARCHICAD, we're going to change it to the internal rendering engine. In here we're going to turn on sun, uh, going to turn on all the shadows, um, anti-aliasing, I crank everything up, and I also found that this is another important thing, this texture anti-aliasing, turn that on and bring it up to high. What that's going to do is make all the kind of textures and siding just a lot crisper and cleaner than you would otherwise. Um, and then I like to set my background to this blue. Basically, we just want to set the background to be a specific color that we can select later. So with all those settings set, we're going to, again, click rendering. I'm not going to do that, so you don't have to watch. But the image we'll get in the end is this guy. So now I'm going to close ARCHICAD here just hide this stuff. So those rendering settings which you just saw create these two images. Um, and now what's nice is uh, I skipped over it, so let me just jump back so you can see that. The internal rendering when I made this, the size was the same, this 1500 by 1272 for, for both of these. What that means is these two images are identical in size, so if I um, you know, select all of this image and copy it and paste it onto this one, which is not doing it for me right now, but you can imagine if it pasted, I'm just going to move on because this is already taking too much time, but you know how to copy and paste from one to the other. What you're going to end up getting is um, that image and um, your line work image as well. Um, now, to get these two to read pretty like that, let me see if I can just make this bigger for you, um, is on the layer that is the sketch render, you want to change the layer's um, transparency um, from normal. Uh, I find multiply works really well. And then you want to just bring down the opacity so that it um, you know, reads properly. I found this kind of you know, high 60s, around 70, does a really nice job. Um, the last piece is the sky. 
again, this is, you could go way extreme with this and add trees and all this other stuff, but I like to keep this simple because you can imagine if you're not talking while doing this, you can do it in, you know, three minutes, start to finish the rendering. Um, so what I've done is created a, um, a kind of gradient sky, which is a little, probably a little hard for you to see there, but basically how to do that is you select this image, and this is the same in Photoshop, use the magic wand to um, select a big color block, and then you can go to a new layer um, and use that region as, uh, as the way to create a um, gradient fill. And I'm not going to explain that part because you probably all know how to do that in Photoshop or you can find a Photoshop tutorial that's way easier to do it. Um, because the real point of it, and I'm going to wrap this up because it's already getting too long, is that um, taking these images that we're used to creating in ArchiCAD already, the, um, the sketch render and the um, internal rendering engine, which both on their own are fine, um, but when you combine the two and you add a little transparency and a, a pretty background, you get just a really nice image, and that's what we end up with here. So hope that makes sense. Just um, leave some comments with some questions if you have some, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.